UFC, I can't stand. That to me is like a bar fight. And I know the practitioners are all say, no, you're wrong. The months of training we do, why don't you just grab a beer bottle and hit the other guy over there? That's the next stage from UFC. Liam Neeson had many thoughts on the world of sports, including his countryman, Conor McGregor. That little leprechaun, Conor McGregor. Oh, please. He gives Ireland a bad name. I know he's fit, and I admire him for that, but can't take it. Next time I come in, in Dublin Airport. Neeson, who the f***ing show you? In an interview with Men's Health magazine, Neeson went off on Conor, who was eyeing a comeback fight against Michael Chandler after breaking his leg against Dustin Poirier in late 2021. There is a sound reason for Liam Neeson to feel this way. In 2019, McGregor sucker punched a bar patron because the man refused to drink Connor's proper number 12 Irish whiskey. He would plead guilty to assault. In April 2018, the infamous bus attack led to fighters getting injured because of Connor McGregor. The onslaught would continue. All in all, UFC president Dana White would market it in promotional videos. Via Global News, McGregor would snatch a phone out of a fan's hand it would fall to the ground and mcgregor would stomp on it in april mcgregor was charged with two counts of dangerous driving driving without a license failure to produce a license driving without insurance and failure to produce insurance records a court spokesperson told espn at the time he would miss that court date in early January 2019, a woman in Dublin, Ireland, told the police she had been R-worded by McGregor a month before. A statement of claim in a lawsuit the woman filed against McGregor that week described her perspective of the encounter in graphic detail. An examination at a hospital shortly after the encounter, the statement said, found bruising over her entire body. Though prosecutors declined to bring criminal charges, they did not clear him of wrongdoing, and the lawsuit will be heard by a jury if it were to go to trial at the time as well. In the buildup of the Habib Nurmagomedov fight, he used a racial slur. You could see the deleted tweet McGregor wrote on your screen. He was accused of racially abusing Floyd Mayweather in the buildup to their bout in 2017. Then, in September 2020, McGregor was arrested on suspicion of attempted essay and indecent exposure, but was released from custody without charge. A 2019 New York Times report stated that McGregor was under investigation in Dublin for multiple allegations of essay. Back in 2017, he would punch another elderly man at a pub, but it was not just any random person. It was a member of the Kinahan cartel in Dublin. A separate story from the International Business Times claims that McGregor's actions have caused a 900,000 euro bounty to be put on his head, demanding McGregor pay protection money or risk being killed. McGregor's father would call the story nonsense. There was also the time he shoved longtime MMA referee Mark Goddard at a Bellator event when his friend who was competing knocked out his opponent. All this to say, even with everything that we told you, Conor McGregor is going to star in the Roadhouse remake with Jake Gyllenhaal.